Happy St. Patrick's Day from Constance Bay, which is located in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. That's right, it is March 17th, 2022, and it is an incredibly warm day for this time of year here in Ottawa, Canada. I don't know about everyone else, but I am super tired of winter by now. I'm uh, happy to see these spring-like days and uh, happy to see the snow melting. So we'll check out the conditions in the backyard. You can see I've already been out. I've opened up the, uh, the Mexican fan palm, removed the front panel, um, and letting it breathe in some fresh air from uh, the beautiful day here today. So if we go inside for a minute, we can see what the temperature is outside. So it is a pleasant 5.7 degrees Celsius. Inside the box, it is 6.7 degrees. So 5.7 degrees works out to about 42 degrees Fahrenheit. And 6.7 is about 44 degrees Fahrenheit. You may have noticed that the temperature inside the box is a little warmer than outside the box. And as the day goes on and the sun hits with the front panel removed, that temperature change will just uh, increase. So it will be considerably warmer in the box than out of the box. Back outside now and we're looking at the cord line. Um, it's just mulch protected for winter. It's an experiment and we'll see if it works. Uh, I have my doubts that it will. It shouldn't, but uh, we'll try it. If you've been following my videos, you can see that snow has melted a fair bit. Uh, this is about the third or fourth day in a row that we've had uh, above zero temperature. So let's take a closer look at the Mexican fan palm now. It's looking super healthy for having been in a box in the dark for uh, probably three months now. So um, it's doing fantastic. You can see the, the trunk is fairly thick. And uh, the leaves are mostly green, just the tips are brown, and that's, that's pretty common for a lot of Mexican fan palms. One of the big problems of winter protecting in an insulated box like this using Christmas lights is uh, dealing with humidity. Um, partway through the winter we switched over to, to keeping one set of lights on full time and the other one only going on when the temperature got below, uh, one, well, down to one degree uh, Celsius. So uh, just checking here to see, and uh, there's very little, if any, humidity on the, the plant at all since I've opened it up, and so it was plenty dry in there, so um, it should be doing well. One of the worries of using this type of winter protection for Mexican fan palm is fungus growing on the plant and eventually causing spear pull, but uh, in this case, it hasn't happened, so all is good. This is such a gorgeous day for March 17. Um, the sun is shining, it's, it's warm, um, Ottawa just doesn't get this kind of weather too often at this time of year. I'm um, really enjoying it and you, there you can see my other banana plant that's uh, winter protected by mulch. Um, it should work but uh, it is cold here in the winter, like we got down to below minus 30 a few nights and anyways we'll see if uh, it survives, we'll know in about another month. Anyways I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing what's happening with our Mexican fan palm and uh, that's it for a beautiful day here, March 17. Without starting another video, it's two days later. It's a Sunday, March 19th. It's a windy, cloudy, overcast day. Going inside, you can see it's still above zero. We're at uh, four degrees today. Um, so it's still warm, but it's, it's super windy. We had an extremely windy night last night uh, with a fair bit of rain. Uh, at one point, the, the wind was so strong, uh, a huge chunk of ice blew off the, the, the roof, and I was worried that the box had, uh, the Mexican fan palm box had blown over, but it hasn't. And here's a look at um, the, the cordyline tree that's uh, buried under the mulch, and hopefully will survive for the, the spring and get to the summer. And here's a shot of the Mexican fan palm production that I use in the, the fall and in the spring um, so that I can quickly open the, the front and, and let the sun in on nice days. So um, after I take the, the front panel off, I just hang a tarp up on some hooks and um, I can easily just lift the, the tarp up. And I've got a, you'll see in a few minutes, I'll open it up and you, I've got a shelf that I can store the tarp on up, up at the top. Here's a closer look, so you, if you can look down here, I don't know if you can quite see, but um, I've just got little eye hooks that uh, screw into the wood just to hold the, the tarp on the grommets, and um, so that keeps the, the rain out. 
and when I lift the tarp, you can see uh, I've got easy access to the, the palm, and it just saves me from having to take the panel off and on and screwing it in and unscrewing it, so it keeps it safe. Um, up here you can see I've got, uh, so I've got a false roof uh, down here. The, the plant's not that tall, so I just store the tarp up on the top just like that, and uh, then I can pull it out easy and hang it down. Right beside the Mexican fan is my smaller banana plant, which is mulch-covered. And about 15 or 20 feet over from the, both of those is uh, my larger banana trees, which uh, are also mulch-covered. And uh, you can see there's a bit of water from last night's rain on top, and just get rid of that. And, but anyways, just keeping it dry, and uh, one of the problems with protecting in this manner is if they get wet, they end up rotting. So, got to keep them dry. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope to see you again soon.